Yes, sir. Um, I've been on the board 10 years. I'm as conservative as anybody on this board, I think. Um, I, I, I hate a tax increase. I had a great tax one time in 10 years, and that was on the building debt service side of the budget to build a new high school. We, have did, we did an extensive provision to schedule high school. We built an elementary school. We've done numerous projects. Never raise taxes until we had to build a hospital. Um, we had, I don't know, we talked about this during the budget process. We per student, or we spend less per student than any other district in the Parker County. Now that means two things. One, that we are fiscally responsible. And number two, that our staff and employees are doing a great job of managing and have been for a long time. I, I personally, the tax increase, I have rental property, and this tax increase hurts me and uh, others that, that do. And I, again, um, it's something we can kick the can down the road, but we're required to keep. I know we have a little bit more, but we always have to transfer some of that little bit of money we have left over if we do any into the debt service fund for new computer upgrades, and it's just always something. But we have not raised that side of the budget in 10 years, 10 years. We have raised the other one thing. And again, I, I am, I, I am, uh, I am for it because we need it. I mean, we can't, we can't just keep pulling, you know, that reserve is there for an emergency. And we went through some hard times one time before, and we had to divvy into it a little bit here and there. We didn't touch it much, but I think if I recall, we, we did have to do that a little bit. And I think that's more for hard times and not, um, um, something like this. I mean, we, we couldn't we couldn't do the state ought to step up and give us enough money to do the whole entire race across the board because it's not fair to give some and not the other. So that's my two things. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sams. And I do agree. I think we're a very conservative board. I think we've been a good steward of taxpayer dollars. I don't think we waste any money anywhere. And uh, I think we're just, we have come to the point to where it's inevitable. Um, if we want to continue quality education in quality facilities, then, you know, we don't need to go backwards. We're trying to get rid of some of the old schools and that are outdated and mold. Well, see, and this growth that we talk about, yes, this is growth, this is growth. But it don't bring, it brings no money to the general fund number. If it's on, if it's owner occupied, it doesn't do anything. Well, and we're looking at continued growth also, because it's my understanding we're the second fastest growing district in the state at this point, and we see all these homes going up um, all over our our district. So. But just to be clear, we and are I, seeing. And, hey, and I know it's never happened before, but we can always we can always vote and get it back if we have a windfall of money. We are seeing an approximate four to five percent increase year over year into our general fund budget with no tax increases, and that's what we've consistently seen. Is that not we right? do? You that do is correct, well, and that's built into this budget. Correct. Right. But we need to be looking down the road. We're already maxed out with our elementary schools. We're maxed out at Rainbow Lake Middle. We don't, we don't want to be retroactive. We want to be proactive. Well, when we talk about, we're talking about two different sides of the budget right now, though. Right. I mean, we haven't got to the schools and all that. What we're talking about is the general funding side of the budget, which is what pays our, for, for curriculum or teachers and, and, and all that's concerned. I understand. When was and the that, last time we asked for an increase on the budget? In, in at least 10 years. Yes. Yeah. It's thankful that we've had that growth year over year and we will continue to see that. And I think, I think
think maybe some incorrect information may have gotten out to the community about the funding for the teachers because the 4% does come from Columbia, but all the friend, I mean the 2% uh, the step and then all the other employees is gonna come from us. Is that correct, Kelly? That's correct. The, um, <coughs> just the salary increases and fringe increase alone makes up 81% of this increase in, in that we have of 5.9 increase. And it's like the four things in there. We decided to move forward with four days. Yeah. And Can I say something? Yes. You know, another thing to consider with this is we're making those step increases and that budget's increasing, yes. However, we need to understand that when that 4% goes in and we're having to make up that, those step increases go on, that's sustaining. We have got to create a, a fund balance where you can sustain that over time because that step increase is going to happen again next year. Your benefits are going to increase next year. So if we don't plan ahead, that funding is not going to be there to meet our needs. Mm -hmm. And just the other day I was over, I was telling Mr. Rafford this, I was at um, Hendricks Elementary and just walking around looking, seeing things that are coming down the pipes that we're going to have to do because it's an aging building. And I think we need to be thinking in the forefront for that. You know, when you're planning for your retirement, you don't wait to the last minute to do it. We 